Hi, it's Robert Knight from Losing the Wires, and today we are showing uh, another one of our in-vehicle uh, sam solutions for Samsung DeX. This is using a touchscreen 11.6-inch uh, monitor with power delivery. Uh, this means that it will actually uh, also charge the phone. A lot of the 11.6-inch devices won't actually charge the phone. Uh, this one will, um, so uh, that does make a difference. Uh, it can be either charged or connected via USB-C or via uh, USB to USB-C using the included cable. Um, just using, an, and all we're using here is a standard um, 12 volt uh, charger um, with USB for, the, for this particular uh, instance. So um, what can we do? Well, uh, it is DeX. So anyone familiar with Samsung DeX will know that uh, Samsung DeX is a desktop environment. Um, so if we look at some of the productivity that we can do, we could, for example, uh, launch Outlook. From this touch screen. So it is a touch screen as well. So so we can go. Fully maximized if we want to do uh, things like that. Um, the other thing we have is also we have a good quality Bluetooth keyboard with integrated trackpad. Um, one of the reasons we've opted for this particular model is A, it's a hard solid keyboard, um, which means you can put it on your lap, uh, the passenger could have it, um, or the driver can use it on their lap. Um, in addition, it, because it's solid underneath, it means it's not going to flop around like some of the folding Bluetooth keyboards. Um, and if you've seen any of the deck solutions for American vehicles, the center console is much bigger than we have here in Europe. So consequently, there's less space to actually have a keyboard tray on the front. So in this particular example, the the screen is, is facing us. It, there's plenty of space between the steering wheel and the actual screen. I'm not going to actually interfere with that. Um, but what we can do is, of course, we can use something like Google Maps. Um, so we'll just pause, start that, and come back to that in a moment. Um, and uh, what we can also do is we can access line of business applications. So if you're in the public safety side of things, there may be an application where you want to check um, a vehicle registration number or something like that. And you could access it, that sort of application using this. Now, you could be in some sort of ambulance or something similar. Again, you could be accessing a line of business application where you're um, looking at uh, information about patients, etc., using this type of solution. So, and this is all done from your mobile phone. So there's no separate PC involved here. It purely is a mobile phone. In this particular example, I've got the mobile phone holder in my cup holder, um, but that could be um, mounted somewhere else. It could be mounted above the vent, for example, um, it could be mounted um, somewhere else. Obviously, uh, for um, sort of professional use, um, it's better that the the actual phone is held very securely. And this particular um, dock that we have it in here from Strike, actually, the phone actually slides in, so it's held nice and securely, and isn't going to fly out in the event of you having to break heavily or, or, or anything like that. Anyway, um, this is our solution. Uh, it's available now. Um, we're using standard Archon. Um, mounts so as you can see there's it's pretty rigid uh, it's a no drill mount which means there isn't actually anything um, that needs to be sort of physically plumbed into the into the vehicle so if, you, if you're running a leased vehicle or you're running something similar um, you don't have to drill any holes in the dashboard to attach the screen it is actually a, a an arc, a standard Archon mount uh, it's held securely in these jaws there is uh, well, there are Visa screws on the back of the screen, so it is possible to actually Visa mount it as well uh, if you want something that's more permanent. Um, this, uh, the jaws do actually um, open out. They're sprung load, heavily sprung loaded, but the jaws do open out. So uh, if you want to remove the screen at the end of the day, it's quite easy. Um, and there's only two, two things to unplug. There's a cable that goes to the phone and there's a cable that goes to your power. Um, the rest of it is, that's it really. Um, and as I say, the Bluetooth keyboard we've selected is because uh, there's just physically not enough space in a, in a Euro European vehicle to have a keyboard attached to the screen. 
in many cases unless it's a particularly large vehicle um, so consequently it's easier to have a nice um, solid Bluetooth keyboard with a solid back that means you can type on it um, comfortably um, but in addition once you've once you finish with that you can um, put it to in say in the back of a seat um, or slide it into a suitable um, storage point near the near the driver so it's out of the way it's not going to come on uh, it's not going to move again in the event of heavy braking um, but it means that you're not really uh, interfering too in too much space uh, in front of the dashboard so we've got access you know we can obviously change gear here we can access our heater controls um, in a, in an emergency services vehicle there'd probably be something for controlling lights etc so those should also be accessible and there is a degree of adjustment you can adjust the screen up and down a little bit uh, it's important that it's not too close to this part of the vehicle because this is where the airbag is so it's it's some some way away from there as well anyway uh, that's our solution um hopefully that's been uh, interesting to see that um as i say it is a touch screen um it's 11.6 inches in size so it's not too huge um but at the same time, it's not so small that it's not much use either. Um, the screen can be adjusted as well, so we could actually adjust this so that it can be operated by the passenger. Um, so that, that's another option that we can do. Um, and again, because the keyboard uh, is effectively can be floated, or because it's not fixed to anything, it can be, you know, the, the passenger could use it as well. So to adjust it, there's just a single um, sort of uh, handle behind the screen um, you can do that and then you can adjust it around to show the uh, to show the, the passenger. Anyway, uh, there we go. Uh, if you want any more information, go to our website, losingthewires.com. Um, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to leave any comments, please do that as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.